Hey everyone, uh, this is tutorial is to uh, show you how to make your uh, your sprite clickable in uh, AGK2. So I'm gonna create a function, uh, call it wherever I want. Uh, I'm gonna call it uh, clickable sprite. And you can call it whatever you want. I always like to uh, go ahead and um, close the function before I type anything else. Um, and the one thing about uh, anything you do in AGK GK is sh you should test stuff as, as so you know how it works. So we're going to do that. So I am going to get the mouse pointer location. So x equals, uh, let's see, get pointer x, and that will give me my uh, mouse pointer location or your finger pointer if you were doing on Android or whatever. Pointer y. and I'm going to print that to screen so I can see where my pointer is so we're gonna do a print X now gives the X location and we're gonna put a comma in between and this is great for troubleshooting <coughs> so everyone should do it Y and we're gonna save it and let's see let's run it and of course it's going to give us an error so the problem with this print right here and it says we're incompatible types integer and string so when you try to add an integer to a string you can't do it so what you're going to have to do is do the str command Oops. the str command will convert this integer value which is x into a string that way you can add them together and once you do that run it oh what's going on here STRY get pointer oh I forgot to uh, call it here we're gonna get rid of this uh, screen FPS we don't need that and we're gonna call our function right here okay now we're gonna call our function and anywhere my mouse goes you'll have the X value here the Y value here and this is great for troubleshooting alright so alright so now we're gonna test if the sprite buttons get hit okay so we're gonna bring up our help menu and the command we're going to use is get sprite hit test so we are going to and uh, if you look at it it shows you all the commands and we'll, okay so I'm just going to go ahead and type it so we're going to run some more tests if get sprite hit test and now it's going to ask for the sprite index so we want to test the uh, start button so start button comma and wants a float and a float x and a float y so it wants to know where your mouse is so basically we're going to get this git pointer X and get pointer Y. And then if if your mouse is over the start button, we will print and all this is for testing purposes. So print uh, you 
are hovering over the start button. Else if, and we're just going to copy this right here and paste it, and we're going to change this to the land button. And then, of course, we're going to copy this too. course you want to in you have to end it okay so let's test this and it's going to fail and I'll show you why so it fails because it doesn't recognize land button and doesn't recognize the start button that's because within this function start button and land button doesn't exist so one thing you can do which I'm going to do here just for the sake of this I'm going to make this start button a global in this land whoops whoops I declare it global And I know it's an integer because it's holding an integer value. Integer. Okay. So when I declare a global, no matter what function I call it in, you'll see it. So we we'll save it, run it. Okay, so I have my mouse hovering up, and as soon as I get to the sprite, it tells me I'm hovering over the start button. And the land button the same. All right. So now, how do you make it so you only so it's clickable? And the command for that is get pointer release. So it's right here. Get pointer released. So basically, when you click on something, you release it that's like clicking on it and of course we're going to end it NIF so basically we're going to put this whole thing within here and don't forget to indent guys it makes it easier to understand when you indent stuff so you know what belongs where <coughs> so and we'll change the word in here you clicked so we know we clicked on it uh, copy that okay so basically you wouldn't have any of this your whole function would just be here if you wanted to have it clicked but we're going to run this so of course we get the you are hovering over the start button but when I click it you get the you click on start button same to land so you can probably hear me clicking on it I'm clicking on the land button and that's basically how you make your sprite clickable that's about it so basically you wouldn't need all this if you knew but all this that I have highlighted right here is for testing purposes and it's something you should do especially when you you're learning stuff and you're trying to figure out why something doesn't work it's really good to do things with the print button with the print command so you can see if something works so you would just delete this and your whole function would be basically this to see if something's clicked. Of course you gotta call it. Alright, thanks for watching.